Yo, what's up? You're watching Coded Cuento, and we'll be talking about the style tiles today. Uh, in the last video, uh, napag-usapan natin yung tungkol sa style tiles. And now, we'll go in-depth with uh, style tiles today. So, what is style tiles? Uh, basically, sorry, style tiles are a design deliverable consisting of fonts, colors, and interface elements that communicate the essence of a visual brand for the web. So, you can learn more at styletil.es. So, you can read more about that. And, but for now, we'll be talking about the elements that are consisting the style tiles. So, paano ba tayo pipili? Paano ba tayo uh, kukuha ng tamang colors? And, yeah, let's dive into those. Uh, first thing is how to choose your fonts. Uh... If you are already a designer or a graduate of a design school, probably uh, you know how to choose your fonts. Uh, or if the client already provided you with a uh, branding guideline, they already have a fonts or font colors or font sizes in, in place. So if you're that kind of a uh, designer, so pwede nyo nang skip tong period na to, then let's just see each other next week. Uh, for, for this video, uh, I will be talking about those who are not really familiar with designing their own site or designing a client site uh, basing or choosing uh, what type of fonts and colors are good for specific clients so basically in choosing your fonts you have to know your fonts here are some of the four main categories of uh, fonts first is the serifs so the serifs are those letters with short lines coming off the edges so they are viewed as more formal and traditional and they are best suited for print uh, the next type of font is the sans serif so sans serifs are of course letters without the serifs <laughs> so they are viewed as informal and playful and they are best suited for digital third are scripts scripts resembles handwriting and often use informal invitations such as this one this font that i use here is called the uh, zapino Basically, they're good for headings, but they're not ideal for the body copy. Next, and the last would be the decorative fonts. So, they're informal fonts viewed as originals. Uh, they're best suited for headlines, but not body copy. And, yep. Second is, you must know your message. Uh, kanino ba tayo nakikipag-usap or sino yung audience natin at ano yung message ng pinaka-website natin or ng pinaka-design natin? If you're undecided, first you must ask yourself, is the project formal or casual? Should the text be bold or lighter? So, is the typeface for large text or for small? How will it pair with colors or images? Does the mood of lettering match the words being read? Really, you really have to understand what are we trying to communicate and who are the clients and who are the customers for it to be uh, successfully executed so next would be some rule of thumbs yep uh first are the spacings of the letters or of the words so first we have the kerning yeah, it's the space between letter pairs so say this it's the space between the o and the v in the word love uh for tracking it's the space between groups those uh characters or it is actually the letter space between all the letters in a certain word so in css we call that letter spacing and lastly uh, leading leading is the amount of space between lines of text so it's the line height so uh, it's the distance between the word love and the word type yeah uh, that's about it next would be the readability so think about the, si the size of the screen uh, where text will appear and design it to uh, be easy to read so one rule of thumb here is never go smaller than 14 pixels uh, maybe it would work for the footer or for small captions but uh, for the body copy it's not just as good as it should be especially if you're looking at it in mobile 
So another thing is consider the contrast or choosing the right colors uh, basically in regards to the background color or the background image. So say here we have white versus light blue for the blue background or black versus gray. As much as possible there must be clear contrast between the letters. Uh, not only by colors but also by sizing say uh, there has to be a clear contrast between the sizing of the header and the sizing of the subheading its relationship with the size of the body so next would be the number of typefaces so uh, the number of typefaces as much as possible you can go no more than three typefaces unless you have a really good reason so for here in the example on the left so i did a uh, different font for the title, a different font for the subhead, and a different font for the body. So that makes it three. Another thing, uh, I created this uh, pen in Code Pen, uh, which I actually selected my favorite fonts on Google Fonts. Basically, ang ginagawa nito is uh, change, say, the header or the body content, and somehow uh, let me decide which font combination would look best for specific client or for specific purpose so yeah uh, i will add the link below so you can check it out and yeah somehow fork it on your own pens and uh, use it for your project let's go with another topic uh, knowing your colors so actually colors can be an entire video but we'll be talking about uh, colors just for web design so First is we have to consider the psychology and meaning of colors. Here are some ideas to guide you on defining your colors. So first, we have the warm colors. So first, we have the red. So the positive sides would be, it could be of courage or strength, warmth, energy, survival, fight or flight, stimulation, masculinity, and excitement. So ever wonder why usually boxing gloves are red, right? For orange, we have physical comfort, food, warmth, security, sensuality, passion, abundance, and fun. Next would be the yellow. So we have the optimism, confidence, self-esteem, extraversion, emotional strength, friendliness, and creativity. That's why my main color is yellow. You see in the logo, we have this yellow background. <laughs> For the pink, we have this physical tranquility, nurture, warmth. Femininity, uh, love, sexuality, survival of the species. Now for the cool colors, we have the blue, or the intellectual color blue. We have this intelligence, communication, trust, efficiency, serenity, duty, logic, coolness, reflection, and calm. So basically, blue is the usual color for corporate because it shows up intelligence. So you would, you would see them on banks or uh, real estate or anything that has to do with some intelligence and trust. For the green, we have balance. Uh, the positive would be harmony, refreshment, uh, universal love, rest, restoration, reassurance, environmental awareness, equilibrium, and peace. Violet is a sense somewhat uh, spiritual. So it's either spiritual awareness, containment, vision, uh, luxury, authenticity, truth and quality yeah let's go with the neutral colors the neutral colors are white black gray and brown so for the white so you know it's hygiene sterility clarity purity cleanness simplicity sophistication and efficiency so it's cool that white can be both simple and sophisticated depending on how you use the color white so another thing is black uh, it's also simplify. Uh, it also says sophistication, glamour, security, emotional safety, efficiency, and substance. Uh, gray would be just neutral, <laughs> psychological neutrality, and brown is seriousness, warmth, nature, earthiness, reliability, and support. So basically, neutral colors are somewhat supporting, supporting colors for those in the warm or in the cool color scheme so yeah this is one example of a style tile that i built for a client it's uh it's it's version 2.0 because we have the first version and we have some changes with that and this is the final one 
So we have the positive colors because Virtual Angel Hub was primarily built by a woman entrepreneur. So we we have this on the feminine side. So the possible colors would be either uh, this uh, charcoal black and light and dark gray and pink. So here are some textures. Um, here are some adjectives that supports the font and what the font has to mean. So kapag binasa natin sila, it has to contain what the word is really trying to say. So for the typography, I use obo for the header and uh, I use lato light for the subheading and for the content i just use or the body body font i just use the lato regular though it would go with bold or with italic or with lights uh, one thing is if you're choosing a font for the body it must be versatile it must be something that contains a lot of font weight and a lot of font style depending on what needs to be designed so as I said in the interface, uh, we have these buttons, uh, how it would show up with the client. The actual design or the live site is here. We have this one. So if you check, here's the logo and here are the fonts. And this is the button that we have earlier. And yeah, we have this font here for the header and for the subheader and for the body yeah yep salamat and we'll be talking about a bunch of stuff next video but for now uh, leave some comment below if you have some questions or suggestions and as well as subscribe if you haven't since you're already here shout out to motion teller especially to boss bruce uh, for lending me the mic and the camera stand uh, this video won't be possible without them kung kailangan nyo na magkocover ng videos sa weddings uh, please check them out um, they're, they're real good actually they're good yeah subscribe yeah subscribe yeah, Rooster.